and in the comments below just say you're present hi or hello sort of like in the class classroom so that way i know people are showing up to watch these videos i really appreciate it it's incredibly motivating and all the people that always do it thank you very much it's it's so appreciated you i, I can't even describe how much is appreciated but it's just so motivating very very motivating okay sorry about that long intro we're going to continue here with the first ticket here from d thank you for submitting the ticket it says blue screen i turned on my computer and i have a blue screen so i'm assuming uh d here is talking about a blue screen of death we're definitely going to talk about that there are a few reasons why this might happen but when working at ticketing system make sure you always assign a ticket to yourself so that way you get credit and that nobody else picks it up meaning that you could be wasting time working on a ticket but somebody else might be working on it and take it and you wouldn't even necessarily realize it depending on the type of system now this is most likely an issue that we cannot we cannot get a hands-on if you're working help desk you don't have physical access to this computer you don't know you just take their word for it so for those reasons the only thing you can do is talk to them on the phone you cannot contact them because chances are they called the help desk so whether they call the help desk and you're talking to them right now or they call the help desk to submit a ticket which which we can assume this is what happened here in this scenario and then hopefully there's a phone number where you can contact them because if you go to down here and reply to customer and whatever you say normally you know if you say hello my name is Irvin with help desk I can help you with your issue this doesn't matter this does not matter because they won't get it they don't have a working computer they don't have a working computer unless they have a phone that somehow has access to their office 365 which will give them access to their outlook you can have an app on your phone for office 365 which will have access to outlook and then they can see a uh, a message that was sent by the ticketing system to them and then you know if, if you know that for sure that's fine but hopefully they have a phone number and if not i guess this would be your last resort to contact them through the system because the system itself will send them an email as i've mentioned but in this case i'm going to assume there is a phone number uh, so, or that I'm talking to them on the phone already. So, you know, this is uh, the first thing that you would have to ask is, well, what kind of blue screen it is? So if you're asking, well, what do you see? And they just say, well, this is the blue screen I see. <laughs> you know, chances are, then, then there's nothing wrong with the computer, right? But if it's a blue screen of death, which we're going to look up here and by the way there are other blue screens whenever you boot up your computer there could be other blue screens like for example select the operating system um, if, if it says that on the system on the screen if it says that on the screen um, then 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 it's not a bad type of blue screen of death which well, i will show you here in a moment as soon as as soon as my computer does something here it froze Okay, all right, come on, come on, come on. See, this is an example of what might happen if you're trying to connect to a computer that's on Wi-Fi. And so every time you remote into a computer to assist the customer, chances are um, there will be a, a weird delay. What, what's happening right now, what you're seeing is, is just a big delay. Whenever I type in something, it's just a big delay. So I'm going to type in B S O R D B S O D B S O D means blue screen of death, as you can see here in the Wikipedia. And then we're going to check out some of these examples. Um, going to I'm going to open up another window because I want you to see a different window that's also a blue screen, but it's not a bad type of blue screen. I'm going to have to do something about this because my computer is not very responsive here. So I typed in google.com here and I'm just waiting for it to, to happen. And again, when you're remoting into somebody's computer, you may expect these type of issues where there is a delay, where there is a delay. Okay, so 
we're going to what I'm going to show you is a blue screen that looks very very similar in color which is blue <laughs> obviously uh, to blue screen of that which is the bad one so what I'm going to show you here is a screenshot of um, what's it called safe mode for Windows 10 which is not to be confused with blue screen of death so first thing first when you're talking to them ask them how does it look like if the window looks like this here uh, bear with me there it is then they are in what they call a sort of like troubleshooting mode advanced startup mode if you will and there are a bunch of examples of this here and if they are in in any of these other modes just guide them so they can get out of it and the best way to guide them out of this type of mode out of these blue screens is to reboot the computer simply reboot the computer because chances are the reason they got to this point where they are basically in the troubleshooting mode or into the safe mode um, is because they pressed either a key combination or they literally told the computer to get into the blue screen mode um, of course if it's like if it's like a startup settings for example here, here's a brighter picture of this 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 is actual screen somebody took a picture of screen you see how bright it is this blue very bright navy blue color uh, this is also a the way to boot into safe mode I don't know why it says here Windows 10 safe mode uh, because this looks like Windows 7 actually uh, whenever you reboot the computer and you press uh, I want to say it was F8 when it, the computer is starting to boot up, you get into this selection where you can pick to boot into safe mode. I don't know whether Windows 10, like older version of Windows 10, had this or not. Maybe, maybe they also did, but I know for sure this is how it was in Windows 7. So this is a different type of blue screen. This is a normal blue screen that maybe accidentally got in, gotten into. You know, maybe their cat walked across their keyboard and activated or rebooted the computer and then the computer went into the blues you know into the startup mode or repair mode or a safe mode if you will which is fixed by simply rebooting the computer again and here is blue screen of death now this is the old version of it you just see a bunch of numbers oh, this is not uh, just a moment bear with me here it is on the right here oh come on sorry lag there's a lag lag input here because of Wi-Fi the, the remote computer is on Wi-Fi guys and again this is something you can expect something you can expect in whenever you're trying to take control of somebody's computer okay here we go finally I can take some control of it see on the right here this is a typical blue screen of death on a previous operating system um, and uh, basically the reason this happens is you know a few reasons um, it, it could be hardware issue which a lot of times it is it could be a bad driver for the hardware and it could also be just some kind of weird corruption within the software software can cause this problem but personally what I've seen this issue happening is when there's a failing hard drive and of course if you have a for example let's say it's a laptop and the laptop somebody dropped a few times chances are that this could you know cause a blue screen of that because it's a hardware issue so most of the time it's some kind of a hardware issue and we can get into the details here where it dumps the information of where what this might be but that's for you know higher level techs so for help desk all you need to know that's most likely it's a hardware issue possibly a software issue but most likely hardware or a driver issue uh, most of the time I've seen this is excuse me was related to was related to hard drive going out this is what it looks like in Windows 10 you know it's not gonna have all that you know detailed information that, that we've seen this is just what it looks like in Windows 10 so chances are if you're starting right now to support um, you know Windows 10 and it says here Windows 8 
but I'm not sure. I haven't really used Windows 8. I don't know, whatever. Uh, but this is what's going to happen with Windows 10. You just get this, you know, frowny face, if you will. So we've, I, I believe that explains it enough. And for those reasons, we're going to go back to our ticketing system. And we're going to say, add internal note. We're going to say what we did to resolve their issue. We don't, again, we don't have a physical access. Again, you, you could try to reboot the computer and that could temporarily fix the problem, whether it's accidentally getting into the safe mode, repair mode, or whatever you want to call it, or whether it's a blue screen of death where there's a hardware issue. Because sometimes you get a blue screen of death occasionally, occasionally. And those are also signs of hard drive going out slowly. Uh, but, you know, in, in this case, if reboot doesn't fix it, and I know this, this is the only thing you can do, really. You don't have access to it. You can't get into it. The computer doesn't even work, as far as you know. We're going to say, let's assume that it fixed, uh, it was fixed by a reboot. And we're going to say, hey, this is an internal note for, as a resolution for us. Reboot resolved the issue for the time being. However, this was a blue screen of death, which could mean hardware problems. If issue persists, educated user that, or educated or told user, it's up to you how you want to word this. As long as you put down what happened, that computer may need to be replaced. Um, and, and you can say, the, the reason we're going to leave it at the computer needs to be replaced is because we don't know for sure what kind of policy this company have. Some companies don't necessarily repair computers. They just replace them under warranty. Usually there's a five year warranty. And for those reasons, they will just get a different computer. However, you can do hardware diagnostic, obviously. If you're on site tech, if you're on site and you have direct access to this, they can return it. You can give them a loaner computer, loaner computer, meaning a the temporary computer and then you can do your hardware diagnostic you know you can put your cd in or your thumb drive in or use onboard hardware diagnostic you run a diagnostic and it will tell you whether hard drive is going out if their ram is going out you know if there are any other issues so you can do that if you're on site tech i'm going to copy paste the same uh, same uh, note onto the reply the customer did I save this? Okay, here we go. Save. So this is what we did is internal. This is something that our coworkers might look at or our manager. So there is a note of what you did. And I'm just going to do the same thing to reply to customer. So that way the customer later on, whenever they log in, since they've you know, re resolved the issue by reboot, um, they can have a note of it. And that way you have trail as they say paper trail it's not a paper trail because it's a it's more of like a digital trail um, it, it's basically as they say on paper it's written down that you've done all of this you made you made the customer aware multiple times not just on the phone but also via email in this case the system was going to send them an email or a message to um, to to what happened so for those reasons, we're going to close this as a result.